Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with more Fairly Odd Parents breaking the rules. So, I don't know why it said transform, but we finally found the checkpoint after getting across the stupid chasm. So now we can save, so if we die and get a game over, we can go here. For some reason, I was having issues with like the analog stick tapping and stuff, so yeah, we beat that though, so we should be fine now. Anyways, um, these look like bouncy platforms, or not. My issue is, is you don't jump very well on this. Please don't fall! We've only got two stars, but they're very sparkly! Okay, we still need three. Also, I can't tell what's gonna start falling apart because this level's weird. A little gross. Ugh. Nasty. The sound effects here are just disgusting, too. Like... Wait. Wait, how did I get a game over? I still had health. Oh well. At least now we're at the next checkpoint, so that's something to say, I guess. I don't know why it needs to show us this cutscene every time. Also, it turns you backwards for whatever reason. Which is something I'm not a big fan of in this game, oh, is please, it always please, makes you face the wrong way. Only got two stars, but they're and very I don't sparky. care. Like, let me just play the level game. There we go. And... Oh god, you can barely make a lot of these jumps, though. Like, Wait, why would I go up there? There's nothing up there. Um, which is the button to zoom out again? Okay, it's Y, but... Why would I ever do that? Oh god, like, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I guess, like, right here? And I, Oh, I thought I mistimed that jump miserably, but I guess I didn't. Oh, this is just a bouncy. And I died! Great. Uh, apparently, though, somebody told me that what you get for collecting all the Crimson Chin cards is you get, like, episodes of the show, which we can't show on YouTube anyway, so it's not like we get a reward that, like, we can actually show on YouTube. Oh god, they tilt. That's tilting, honestly. Oh, look at that poor little star all panicking! And, of course, we're down to one life because apparently that was the wrong platform, I'm assuming? I don't know. Or not. No, it wasn't. The platforming in this level is just really janky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the umpteenth time game... I know what happened. Now we gotta do this part again. Which isn't honestly terrible. I don't mind. And we already lost a life. Great. See what I mean though? Like, he just. Like, if you're too close to a platform, his please, jump please, gets stunted. Don't. We've only got two stars, but they're very sparkly. Maybe if he actually gave me something worthwhile in this level, maybe I wouldn't fall into all this goop. And poop and everything else, you know? Instead, you give me useless items and gadgets and gizmos and wishes and dishes and cursed chicken wingy is his. Oh, look at that poor little star all panicking! Oh, I think I know what happened. Yeah, I knew it. It was when he touched the platform, or it, that, um, the platform got all weird. Two stars to find. We must prevail! Okay, I can't see. Thank you, game. Now, which way do we go? Do we go across? Looks like we go across the platforms again. So, we have almost all the stars that we need. I'm hoping this level isn't too, too big. Actually, no, we don't want that platform. We want this platform. So then we can go and jump onto this platform, which then... We can go and jump onto this platform, and then this platform, and then... Oh, wait, why are these ones different colors? They're the same platforms, but they're just different colored. 
My biggest issue with this game is the lack of checkpoints. For how many insta-death mechanics there are in this game, you think they give you either more lives or something. Also, what's this? I don't know, some kind of hole? Also, I love how the camera angle in this level is notoriously bad, despite being probably the most obnoxious level to deal with. Hey, look, a star. Bubbles, you mean oh. like in the bathtub? Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Yes, thank you, game. Just hold your nose and try not to think about it. Luckily, they look noxious enough to jump on. Noxious enough to jump on. Yeah, that makes sense. Only one star to find. And I'm it's... holding my breath. So please find it soon. Wait, is it not over there? Where is the last star? It's got to be over here, right? Oh, when you said jump on, I was expecting them to be jump, like bouncy. No, oh, it is over there. Okay, it just wasn't visible yet. I love that. You know when I. Okay, these last few sections have been pretty fine. I haven't run into any weird platforms that are obscurely high compared to you. The only way is up! There's no way Timmy can make it without some help! Let's make a wish! I like being useful! Do you, Cosmo? Do you really? I've got five And there we go! Let's go make, make our wish. wish! Boom! Wait that we do this right before the check or right after the checkpoint though not right before we have to jump upwards i'm not sure you can do it without a wish then i wish for super jumpy powers super jumpy powers why didn't you say so Ta -da! by utilizing the innate springiness of the cosmo plunger patent pending you can sail high into the air just jump as the plunger rises see what i mean Nice! I love getting hit by an enemy because of a cutscene. Why does that always happen? Oh. Oh, that is weird. You just... You just jump and it's just like instant liftoff. Oh, you can just keep jumping. Okay, that's weird. Jump, jump! It, it doesn't make sense either. Like, it's just completely random. To like... When you'll start to lift catch up. Catch it! Catch it! Put it on my wand! Yeah, I'm trying. The, the anti-gravity of your jump mechanic in this game is We've super got one weird. Star, but we still have to find four more. Wait, can I use? Oh, that's interesting. I guess I just have to be close enough to to these things, maybe. I don't know. Woohoo, Nelly! Oh yeah, well where's this one going? Um I actually have no idea. Is there like a first person mode I can see around here? Oh wait. No, 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 no. Okay, so it only works when the bubbles come out. Okay, so we know that for a fact. So now we can jump. And then we can jump up. And then we just wait for the bubbles again, and then we can do the super high jump. That's super weird though, like, I don't get why. It, this, like, what is going on in this level anyway? Like, this level is so weird, this is nothing like the TV episode. Also, why do you have to do it so much? Like. They really abuse certain gimmicks in this game. Like, this is just stupid platforming. Like, it's not even fun platforming. It's just like... Yeah... Elongated... Yeah, it's awkward platforming. It. Yeah, Dang I know. It. Like, what do you think I'm doing? I have to wait! We've only got two stars, but they're very sparkly! That's... that's cool. They're very... Um... What was that? Like, did you see that jump? That jump just didn't do anything. Um, um, okay, so my jump button just isn't working right now, so that's great news. There we go, I guess we have to do it right there, despite almost dying again anyway. Alright. Oh. Flickering strip lighting! We're out! We're free! Oh, Timmy, you were so great! Wow, you're the best jumping plumber in the world! What was that? You know, hon, I hate to say it, but Vicky was right! This tub is filthy! Not only filthy, it's alive! Ah! I guess I better find enough stars to make a wish before whatever made that noise finds us! 
Oh, this is the drain that we're on. Okay. Huh? It's using the soap to its advantage. A it good is. strategy against Timmy. Only one what an insult, find. man. Thank I'm you. My breath. So like, please find it soon. How come now I lose my jump ability and now I can't get up onto those things? Like these, this camera angle is just so bad. Like turn around, game. Oh, this sponge stinks. Yeah, but it's bouncy. Try jumping. I'm trying to jump, and it just won't let me double jump, game. Now, can I go on the... I can't go on the soap. Or on the bubbles, I guess. Because I guess bubbles are too light for even a little robot like us. <laughs> jump up. Jump up and get down. Oh, yeah. I go down the soap into the water, I guess. Oh, I guess this is just soap. Oh, there's the last star right there. And then I guess we have our boss fight, and then we're done the level. Try Hopefully the next the level water. isn't this bad, that's for sure. We've only been recording 11 minutes, and it feels like I've been recording an hour on this video, just because it's, it's ridiculous. I've got five stars! I can make a wish! Yeah, we just have to find where we have to make this wish to. Wait, isn't this where we came from? I'm pretty sure this is where we came from. Maybe? I don't even know. What the heck is the exit of this level? This way, maybe? Nope, doesn't look like it's this way. Hmm, hopefully the boss isn't too difficult. Hopefully there's a checkpoint before the boss, too. Wait, no, this can't be the, uh, this, the same way, because we slid down the soap. I guess it's somewhere amongst all of this. Oh, wait, there's the drain. So, there's lots of stuff over here to the right, so let's go check out this side. Maybe? I don't know, there's a giant rubber ducky. This level is ma- like, this area is massive, but it's at least it's like an actual level. And not like, uh, whatever you want to call the rest of that level stuff. I feel like the the wish thing should be like right there, right? Hey, we got a life though, so that's pretty wicked. Can I even jump up on this? I don't know if I can. It doesn't seem like it. Oh wait, there's the wish thing. It's right there in the middle of the area for whatever reason. Wouldn't have expected it to be there, so let's step on it. Wish this time, sweetie! Yeah, and put some oomph in it! I don't know what's making those sounds, but it won't stand a chance against... Our new Senzo Stink Seeking Fragrance Bombs! Oh, they sound cool, in a domestic kind of way! Oh, you look so handsome when you do the housework! She always tries telling me that, but I don't believe her! Ha! I'd like to see that... that thing out there frighten me now! Well, what is out there? Oh, it's whatever that thing is. Oh, it's an amoeba king. Well, how do I attack it? Oh, I fire soap at it. Ow, I got hit. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can't actually attack in that. Oh, you feed it soap. Okay. So you just have to wait for it to roar at you. Okay, that's easy. Is it really only going to take three hits? Eat soap, you punk. Okay, so the level itself was ridiculously difficult. But the, uh... The boss fight here is probably the easiest one we've ever had. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. Fire in the hole, buddy! Whoa. Splat. Ew, he just turned into decayed goop. That's not at all freaky. 
fish, we do white, and no unsightly giant germs. I haven't felt this clean in years. And we managed to win some pages of the rules. Who'd have thought? And there we go. Lack of music here is kind of weird too. You guys notice that there was like very little music to this level? It's not the end of the world, but still kind of weird. Anyways, we made it back to Timothy Turner's house. I forgot how many levels are left. There's not very many, though. I think we're more than halfway down the game. Whoa, look out! I'm growing! I must have fulfilled the condition of the wish! And we've come closer to regaining our powers! And we outwitted Vicky by doing exactly what she wanted us to do! Ha <laughs> yay! Here you are. I'm talking to yourself again. When is that bath going to be? All done! Time for cake! Why spiders all the time? Hey, we opened up more. Isn't there another level in here we can do, though? A badge too far. I think that's the one we still have to do, right? Say progress. We already did that. We beat Chinless Blunder. We beat Mini Timmy. And we beat the Vicky Virus. So I guess the next one would be to a badge too far, right? Yeah, we haven't done a badge too far. Oh, boy. That'll be the camp bus. This is so cool! Did you pack everything? Yep, and I've got all my merit badges. Let's hope I can earn a few more. Wait! What's happening? Where are you going, Timmy? We're going camping with the Squirrely Scouts! But what about our missing wish powers? If we don't find the rules, Jorgen Von Strangle will make sure we'll never be fairy godparents again! Wanda, I have to go to camp. Even though we're in trouble right now, I'm just a kid and I have to do what people say. Timmy Turner, get on this bus right now! You don't seem too unhappy about it! I love the Squirrely Scouts, but that doesn't mean I don't want to help you and Cosmo! And when were you two going to tell me about this trip? Squirrely Scouts is a boy thing, Wanda. You know, for boys! Is that so? Gotta go! Come on, Cosmo! Hey, Squirt! Are you ready to be humiliated? I'm ready for anything! But I don't think humiliation's in the cards. There's no way that you dumb squirrely scouts are going to earn more merit badges than my cream puffs this time. Who knows? I just want to have fun. See you later, Vicky. Oh, that irritating little rat. There's no way that squirrely scouts are better than cream puffs, especially when the cream puffs are under my control. A badge too far. Finally, on to a new exciting... It looks like to be in the forest episode. I honestly forgot how many levels are in this game. A star. Oh dear! I'd better warn Timmy! Timmy! Cosmo! Wake up! Huh? Is it tomorrow already? Quiet, Timmy! Something's happening! Wanda, what are you doing here? This is a boys camp. Yeah? So where are they? Pink, tutu, tofu. Ah, uh, tomorrow, Wanda, boys camp! The squirrely scouts have been kidnapped! What? What? And that's not all. Vicky has made another wish. It was too vague to tell what effect it will have, but it's likely to be diabolical! Oh, well, then that's okay. No, it's not, Cosmo. Hey, I wonder if Vicky's wish has anything to do with the kidnapping of the Squirrely Scouts. We better check this out. Thanks for the help, Sugar, but this is man's work. As a Squirrely Scout, it is my duty to rescue any of my fellow Scouts if they are captured by small girls. Paragraph 23A of the handbook. And I will prevail. I have my Squirrely Stealth skills, my fleet feet, and a pocket knife with 32 handy implements, some of which have no apparent use. Tang hut! Alright, so what's her attack in this one? Burned. I thought you weren't helping! Nothing! I'm not gonna let Timmy get hurt! Yes you are, you wanted to get hurt, you wanna see Timmy burn! Wait, wasn't there a star around? Oh, there is. There it is, just walking around the campfire, singing his campfire songs. Keep it up, Timmy! We'll find those four stars together! Four star hotel. 
What about you, thing? Hey, is that you, Scotty? What happened? It was, it was horrible. They came out of the darkness while we slept. Oh, it's a good thing we sleep in our uniforms. Slow down, Scotty. Who? Who are they? Why, the, the cream puffs, of course. We would have fought, but they came so quickly, so silently. We didn't stand a chance. The cream puffs? The cream puffs have kidnapped the squirrely scouts? But why? I don't know. Thanks for rescuing me, man. I just wish I could do more to help. Vicky is camp counselor for the cream puffs. I wonder if she has something to do with this. Or is it something to do with that wish she made? You'll have to avoid the cream puff patrols if you want to get much further. Use all your squirrely skills, man. Use the terrain for cover, keep out of their line of sight, and anticipate their patrol routes. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Thanks, Scotty. You stay here. You've done your part. I'll fight for you now, for all the squirrely scouts. I'll stay out of sight, keep to the shadows, and defeat this cream puff terror. Scouts honor. Great. Stealth missions. Nice. Not something I'm a big fan of it's in the games. Cream puff. They're girl versions of us squirrely scouts. Yeah, but not nearly as tough and brave and stuff, huh? So how come they managed to kidnap all the squirrely scouts? I better not get spotted. There may be more around. I don't want to get captured too. Hide behind stuff and don't run in front of her. And watch her patrol route. Let's go. Her? You mean them? Oh, Timmy, look, that hut! Looks like there's a squirrely scout trapped in there. Rescue time. I'll take it easy. Use my stealth. Do you mean just run by them? Bud, they got you too? I was asleep, Timmy. <gasps> it was horrible. Any idea why the cream puffs are doing this, Bud? It's not like them. Not like them at all. Oh, I heard something, Timmy. I heard one of the cream puffs talking. Something about badges. Oh, and a name. Vicky. Vicky? I knew it. Vicky's evil, bud. Pure evil. But I guess I gotta face her. Who are you even looking at, Timmy? Like, he just, like, looks at nothing all the time. Star power. That star wants to play hide and seek. Does it? It's not hiding very well. It's running wide out in the open. It's got two stars. What does that mean? And we probably get one star per squirrely scout we free. Oh, great. More cutscenes. I'm not ending this episode till we get a checkpoint. I was about to say, like, are they ever going to move? That was easy. Timmy, you can't stay here. It's dangerous. I know. There are cream puff patrols everywhere. I wonder what's gotten into them. Their counselor, Vicky. She's insane, Timmy. She's using the cream puffs as her private army. You stay here, Chuck. I'm gonna find some way to defeat Vicky. She's my babysitter. So, in a weird way, she's my responsibility. Alright, and we probably get another star for opening up this door. Oh, no, we get the checkpoint. Nice. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon links below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.